Because our viewers demanded it, we're going to be doing a standalone evaluation of the Springfield XD9. So stick around. Thanks for joining us on Shoot of the Series. My name is Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training, and we want to thank you for sticking with us. Uh, if you haven't already, be sure to hit the uh, uh, subscribe button as well as the share and the like. If you really like what we're doing, come find us on Patreon and partner up with us. But today, um, because the public demanded it, um, we're going to be spending some time with the Springfield XD9. Once again, we're showing safe and clear. We can have a nice conversation without any big surprises. Um, the Springfield XT9 has been with us since, oh, it was originally introduced around 1990. Uh, it came out of Croatia. It started life as the ST2000, and it was adopted by the Croatian military as well as the police um, following the, the war they had in the Balkans. And uh, once the military and the police picked it up, it started grabbing the attention of people overseas. It's called the XD because it's for extreme duty. And the gun's pretty overbuilt. Um, it's got a lot of great features on it, and the more I shoot it, the more I like it. And I'm really glad I picked one up. So we talked about it a little bit before, but some of the features that the XD comes with Obviously, as this one here is a 9mm, but stick around because later on you'll also be seeing we're going to be doing one of these in the 40. Um, it comes with fairly standard three dot sights, um, European idea, they're very fast, very intuitive on how to use them. Um, you also get with the XD, you get, um, you get a magazine release on both both sides of the left as well as the right so that if you're right or left handed or if you're shooting weak hand or strong hand you've got a good way to drop that magazine when it's time to reload. It also comes with a universal rail right here on the bottom so that you can mount or a light, a laser um, or a uh, or other types of uh, devices, training devices for example. And it comes with a, a, a pretty standard um, a uh, magazine or a slide lock at the back. Um, it's a good oversized uh, control so it's easy to find and then the takedown lever is right up front. You'll also notice that you know one of the things it has is also a grip safety at the rear. This actually has to be completely engaged or you can't even rack the slide. It also at the rear has an indicator that shows you that the striker is armed. So in the middle of the night, if you need to use this, you can run your thumb over it and see exactly what the status of the striker is. It also, a little bit harder to, to see, is it also has a round chambered indicator right there on the top of the slide. So same thing, if you've got a round in the chamber, you can run your thumb over that in the middle of the night and know exactly what the status of your pistol is. In California, we can have 10 rounds. Um, but you can also get in other states the 15 rounders and uh, it's, it's really overbuilt. I've, I've never heard of a lot of these failing. Um, these are very popular also with law enforcement and they're really catching on um, as well as other striker fired which are really taking over the industry. So it's a really good pistol. Um, I don't have anything bad to say about it. Uh, the price is right, and in many ways they're underpriced. You can usually get into one of these for about $100 less than a Glock, and it's got a different gri grip angle than the Glock does. So if you're used to shooting a 1911 or you know something with a more conventional type of grip angle, this is you're going to feel right at home with this. Anyway, it's a great pistol. They've sold a bunch of them. Uh, they're, they're popular with military and law enforcement around the world. And uh, they come out, they've also got several edition versions of this, whether in compact, subcompact, various calibers, including 940 and 45. So there's something for everybody to like. We'll be back in a little while, and then we're going to run some rounds through it. So be sure you stick around for that. On behalf of Shoot of the Series, we want to thank you all for watching and tuning in. If you really like what we're doing, come find us on Patreon and consider partnering up with us. 
XD9 9 millimeter. Just like we always stress, get used to the idea of getting your finger on top of the top round. If you have to do a reload in the middle of the night, this is going to be a much better index to make sure you don't load the magazine backward and jam it up. All right, we're safe, we're clear. If you're interested in more information, you can look into the description box for links to the various products that we've discussed and be able to check them all out yourself. Once again, we'd like to thank you for Shoot of the Series. I'm Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training. Y'all take care.